processing operation is located in a small town called Kino. As product is received from the lake, it is then transported to Kino to be flash frozen, preserving the cell structure. It is then stored in our 25,000 square foot freezer until it's time to process the AFA into a final product. Well, roughly the Kino freezer can hold a little over 1 million gallons. As we put totes in there, it takes us anywhere about 10 days to freeze them solid. Well, algae that we've seen over the years, around 50 degrees, it starts degrading. They chill it out on the lake and we get it into the freezers or process right away because about 50 degrees, you start seeing the degradation and the product actually starts turning brown. After proprietary wet processing, which includes thawing, filtering, and reverse osmosis to refine the whole AFA to specific solids percentages, the 225 gallon totes of algae head to the dryers. Cerule has developed customized refractive window dryers that are built in-house specifically for drying AFA to produce an extract that is 100% natural and chemical free. Our dryer is different than others. There's all kinds of different methods of drying, but other than ours, all those other methods of drying except for freeze drying take extreme high temperatures. And what happens is you see a degradation of everything that's good for you in the algae. So with our dryers, we're able to dry that product, keep it going, and maintain all the vitamins and proteins and everything that's good for you in the algae. We dry our products strictly by evaporation. So we have an inlet that brings in fresh air, and then we have an outlet that takes out the moist air and blows it outside. Each dryer has seven different tables, which have hot water, which is heated by steam, and we can set each table at a different temperature. And the belt runs across the top of that hot water, which starts extracting or evaporating what moisture is in the product. So we're able to gradually start dropping the temperatures and cooling the product right away before it comes off the belt. We have bags that actually catch the product as they come off the belts. When each bag reaches 10 kilos, we replace the bag. Um, we tie it, tag it, and put it in a bin, getting ready to be shipped to Avalon. The finished processing involves taking the material that comes from Kino that comes off our belt as more of a coarse flake. We'll take that material, we'll grind it, we'll then also put it in our blender and, and blend typically around a thousand kilos or so into one large homogeneous batch that we will then do our finished product testing. 